a lovely house, don't you like that? It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Lovely house. And then you have this, which is the tip. This is where all the rubbish gets put. Uh, pick up is eight o'clock in the morning. So it's one o'clock now and there is no rubbish pickup. So it just, everybody comes along, puts the rubbish in there. Uh, and that's, that's what you have to do. We're here at the uh, subdivision. So uh, houses are being painted. Uh, they're getting ready for the influx should we say, which I don't think is going to happen. Anyway, today we're talking about the difference in prices. So that monthly catch up, but I'm doing it a little bit different today. So, um, there you go. That's my receipt. Um, so normally I go down with Annie, we go to uh, SM. Uh, I've been doing that for the last two years now, while we've been doing it on lockdown. Uh, but what we have noticed is the prices are starting to creep up a little bit and fresh goods have gone down a little bit they're not uh, not on price but on quality they're not lasting three or four days as normal they're only lasting two and then they're going mouldy uh, and the eggs i don't buy the eggs because the eggs are shite uh, they're always broken or they're off uh, or they they don't taste very nice and uh, I don't buy the rice there because when I bought rice there in the past it's got these little weevils in it, these little black things. Anyway, so we went to uh, Gmail today. So I got down there at 8 o'clock in the morning and we walked around. Got a vlog of that, so well, I'm going to clip it together and put it through, uh, put it on the channel. So it's the Gmail prices. So we bought some meat there, which was about 1200 pesos. We bought some pork cutlets. We bought some minced pork, minced chicken, and diced chicken. Um, so that needs to be added. So that's 1,200 pesos needs to come off the price of what we normally buy. So my my weekly shop, well, my bi-weekly shop, is the same products I buy all the time. It's the the washing powder. It's the the essentials that you have all the time. Yeah. You know, it's not not luxury items or other bits and bobs that I put into my pot. It's about what I need to live. So, here we go. So, we queued for an hour to get into Gmo, and we're on uh, downtown, uh, and we're gonna have a walk around. They've got all this stuff queued up, and he's got a trolley. Best thing I like about this is the trolley wheels actually work here. SM Langham, which is a posher store, and the trolleys never work. What do we do? We need some toothpaste, darling. Oh, look, albatross. Let's get the albatross. Hello, mom. Oh, just this one, just dirty feet. It's, it's. Stop, stop. It's dirty feet, it's cheaper, mom. Did you throw the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. Quite difficult sometimes. You want downy? So the first thing, we, we've bought an albatross, and the first thing Annie's turned around and said, it's cheaper. <laughs> yeah, the first first comment that's come out of Annie's mouth, it's cheaper. I find a lot of people doing groceries here. Go on then, keep going. But I'm looking the one I... Okay, over here? Yeah. When you soak it on that toilet, yeah. it seems the energy removes the insurance. The lime scale. Yeah. Oh. No, this, like this, but it's different. Yeah. The other. Look at this one. The big one sachet. Oh, I can just find this. Okay, there so we go. So we can just refill. Put, put it in there. There we go. So uh, it goes all the way over the back here. So we've just gone down the toilet with the toiletries. Uh, they're playing the music. They've got the chemists there. We're going to go this way. Now, I don't know this store as well as I do SM. So we're just wandering and having a look. So this is uh, rat poison and mosquito stuff, uh, dog food, kitty litter, all that normal stuff that you, uh, yeah. 
uh, soak in water, cook for 20 minutes, and I've got whiskers, <laughs> cat food, fish flavoured. Yeah, that's where I just mince up all the heads. <laughs> there you are. Four cats. Oh, there we go. Next one, darling. This one. What's in this one? There we go, they're all got peanut butter, got lays. Classic. So we've got sweets and candies. Look all this peanuts. Annie's down the down the end there. So you got little Snickers and you got little. It's a bit it's similar to uh, <coughs> SM Langen, but it's got some uh, gunky gunky stuff that you don't actually will will use. They have biscuits here, but that's that's a total biscuit range. Uh, <coughs> cookies. Look at this, foxes. Look at that, foxes biscuits. Can you believe that? They actually make this in Slough, um, just outside Heathrow Airport. So owned by a company called uh, Two Sisters. Uh, what's he got on there? <laughs> it's March. And it's got Santa's favourite. You got me joking, I do me. You got me joking. Fox's biscuits. <clears throat> you pay more for the tin than you do for the food. Yeah. So we've got some. We've got some oatmeal biscuit. Let's do the oatmeal biscuits. Waffle sticks. So, so these are waffle sticks. What I found with Filipinas, if he's got a container, they'll look at it and say, what can I put in this container? Can I turn around and put sugar in it? Can I put flour in it? What can I put in there? It's quite, quite amusing, really. But me, I just turn around and says, so they've got a coconut biscuit. The packaging's really, really nice. It's only got about 12 biscuits in it. Oh, wafers, look at them. Now, I like these for when I travel, because they, they soak up the sugar. Where is she gone now? Yeah, oh dear me. We walked in this way, over here, and then we're coming around this way. This one, guy, down here, darling, down here. <laughs> so we've got coffees and creamers. We have so some flavor, more color. Do you still have extra? Yeah, we have that. We have that big. Co we have that big uh, coffee. The one that was given to you. God, there's nothing in that bag. So you have, uh, you have your creams, you have your milk powders. They survive on everything out of packets. All type of cocoa. Okay. You want it? We have, we only, we use that in temperado or chocolate drinks. Do you? Mm. Old style. Okay, we, we have this, we try it. Yeah, it doesn't have any any, 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 any sugar. chocolate in it. No, any sugar. Okay. It's pure. I'm, yeah, only joking, darling. Put it in there. I just have to cook it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going up here. Come on in. As I said, first time here. So it looks a bit crazy. Keep going, darling. 
So we're actually starting to get things like this here in the Philippines. Lean cuisine, yeah. So they want you to stop, so one pass to drop, they want you to stop your heritage and your culture and just buy it in a box. A bit like they surrounded back in the UK. Uh, so Beyond Burger, what does that mean? It's just from outer space, I don't know. Crispy strips, frozen pizza. But you can make really, really good food here. You don't meatballs. need... Yeah, so Annie's just found meatballs. That means she doesn't have to sit there rolling meatballs. Yeah. So there we go. So she's already off. So here we go, look at that. So this is... Uh, thank God it's Friday. You can buy the sticks here. So Sarah Lee is here, TGI Friday meatballs. There we go, look at that, see? Chicken balls. All the brands seem to be getting into all this uh, ready meal lark. Yeah, the little, little mini pizzas. Yeah, corn dogs. Mini tarts. So, what we got? What's this one here? Is this uh, regular Mr. I'll tell you what, this has got no weight behind this. Okay. Turkey sausage. Yes, darling. Annie's into lean cuisine already. So we got the ice creams that are no good for me. So we got pistachio. So how much is it? It's uh, it's 140 uh, on the local brand. But if you can see my hand moving, it ain't frozen. Yeah, it's soft. Did you buy soft ice cream? No, I'll keep away from that. Hagendas. Hagendas is here. There we go. Ben and Jerry's is here. Yeah. So you got your Hagendas here, you got your Ben and Jerry's, which is your fish food, your chocolate brownies. Then you turn around and got my favourite, which is. Uh, Magnums, how much is it? Magnum is 380. It's 29.95 to round up. Five pounds for a tub of Magnum. Anyway, you pay for what you get, don't you? So then you got your Snickers, you got your Oreos. So this is all your ice cream stuff. Uh, this one here is, yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's an American brand. It's, you can tell it's American brands, but that lovely fit in the freezer type container. So it's in there. So what have we got here? They're all different colours, they're all different chocolates. But, but look, it, it's soft. Annie? Annie? What's that, darling? So this is the fresh meat product, so... Bacon. There we go, see, frozen, stack it up. It defrosts in here so it looks fresh. With your tongs. Then you got your fish. So you got put your pompadour. Uh, it comes like this off a Samo. You go fishing and it comes in a bag and it's all gutted and ready for you. Uh, but they're all going into this bag packet. So you've got tuna tail, mahi mahi, pompanan, which is what Annie's favourite. You've got tuna belly, squid, uh, tangy. Uh, then you've got uh, katambak, salamat, tuna steaks. Uh, then you've got the chicken counter at this end, so you pick out what chicken you want. Uh, seafood. Freshly frozen seafood, ready to cook. It's a nice sign, really, isn't it? Freshly frozen. Why don't you just turn around and say, fresh seafood? The place is covered. It's covered by water. 
surrounded by water. 8,000 8, islands living in an archipelago. So the rice is in the middle. Yeah, so you can come here, you can turn around and get one of these. Little bag of rice, that's one meal a week, only joking. So there's the rice. Why, what gets me is rice and sugar are stored the same. Yeah, I find it absolutely bizarre. So fresh fish is here. So there's the pumpadu. Yeah, it's still got the guts in, but it will be freshly frozen and defrosted. Dang eat, shrimp. Uh, so what's the prices there? Oh yeah. I think it's going to have to be a double, so you've got a fresh fish but you've actually got it there on ice defrosting. Oh, that's uh, 200, that's okay. It's 29. Looks very, very nice. So fry that up with hot oil, garlic and chilli. Tilapia. Tilapia. Wow, big shrimp, huh? 5.50 a kilo. Jumbo, jumbo. Yeah. There's, you see, there's Annie, she's found her favourite fish. It doesn't have a lot of flesh, but I like this fish. Yeah, because it's crunchy, crunchy. You eat the bones. You can eat the bones. Yeah, she likes eating bones, Annie. I like this one in this one. This is matambaka. Matambaka? Yeah. You know what? This is matambaka like eyes, no. and then baka is like a big cow. Big. Big eyes. Yeah, so it's got big eyes, it's yeah. got a big belly, so it's got big eyes and it, it's got the cow. Yeah. There we go. Right. So Annie was talking about pork from San Gipso, which is up there, but then she does this thing going, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't understand that. So now she's down here getting pork chops. Yeah. There we go. Breaded. So this is look at that. Nice and fresh. Out of the freezer. And she's in the last part. Okay then. Hello mom. My old man. My man. Conti Lang. I know a little, yeah. Gamai. So we have Guyabana. This one here is, uh, this is Moran. Spiky, and what you do is pull it open and you eat the flesh inside. Really, really nice. It's got like little seeds, but very, very difficult because it actually goes black quickly. This is Guyabana. I like this, in, it's fleshy great in shakes really nice in shakes so you got papaya you got papaya fresh papaya you got the giant papaya like this with the seeds nice and sweet great for breakfast uh, apples come from china not clever uh, they're not like uk apples uh, these are lemons uh, as you know but sometimes they call them calamansi here yeah sweet oranges, they've got grapes, and they like preparing it. So we've got yellow watermelon and white watermelon, goya, goibano, papaya, um, uh, durian. So, poyat? Yeah. Oh, so that's durian. We don't go there because Annie doesn't like it. So then we've got bread, pomelos, hard pomelos, sweet pomelos, pineapples, but the yellow watermelon, see that? And then you've got the red. So the difference is, is these grow on the ground, these grow a little bit off the ground. So, uh, mangostinas, uh, avocados. Avocados are really, really OTT. So, oh yeah. Huh? Green mango. So this is, this is what you want to go get to refresh in the ice and with a shake. So we're going from there. Uh, and he's and he's got the meat. So we've got pork steak. Okay. So we're that on the Okay. Lovely. 
Soap, toothpaste, you know, down, washing up liquid, washing powder, yeah, uh, air freshener, mosquito spray, water, yeah, uh, coffee, chocolate, yeah, those items that you require all the time. Soup, yeah, because you need backup soup here because if, you could, if you're not going to go out. I don't buy things like bread, I don't buy the eggs, I don't buy, I buy the rice, I've just said that to you. Uh, plastic bags I buy and you know disinfectant and bleach and all those items are put alongside with my food items like um, I'll be buying items that I can turn around and use. Sugar free marmalade is another one I have to have. I have marmalade but the biscuits I have are really really dry snowflake biscuits which have no sugar in them which helps my diabetes. So anyway so let's turn around uh, the shopping cart was full up today. I've done a vlog on that because we put the shopping cart in the secure area in the supermarket which is in a chilled area and when we come back they'd moved it outside when it was 30 bloody degrees so i really i really didn't get didn't feel happy about that at gmail so gmail is not clever 